Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about Amtrafications and our overnight rail experiences. Everything you need to know. I want to go ahead and introduce myself. I'm your webinar host today. I'm Jackie Malucky, the product manager here. And I'm really excited because at the end of this presentation, I have an exclusive offer just for all of you for taking the time and joining me today. So stay tuned. I'll be announcing that at the end of the presentation. Now, don't forget to download the handouts that we have for you. So right on the right-hand side of your screen, you can click on both of those. It has some information on the train and some of the packages that we'll be talking about today. If you do have any questions at all throughout this presentation, please feel free to type it right into your questions box on the right-hand side of your screen there. And I'll make sure to leave a little bit of time at the end so we can get to some of those questions. So that, let's get right to it. We have our summer sale, so we're really excited about that. So if you're looking for some last minute summer getaways, we have exclusive discounts for $100 off per booking on select trending destinations. I'll show you some of those at the end of the presentation as well. So where can you go with Amtrak vacations? I always love showing this map because a lot of people don't realize the extent that Amtrak travels to and all of the options that you have for your next vacation, whether it's one of the major cities like San Francisco, Chicago, New York, Seattle, or one of our beautiful national parks, whether it's Glacier, Yosemite, the Grand Canyon, tons of options for you. So what makes Amtrak vacations different? Why travel with us? Well, it's a bucket list experience to travel by train. You're going to see some beautiful sights in parts of America that you would never see by flying or driving. You have the freedom and flexibility when you book with us because we can customize any of our packages to make the perfect vacation for you, and it's hassle-free. We make it easy. Give us a call, reach out to your travel agent, and we'll put your whole vacation together so you don't have to worry about doing all that research. Let us take care of it. We're the experts here on rail travel in the U.S. We are the official tour operator for Amtrak. With Amtrak Vacations, we have city-to-city -city service. What I mean by that is the train will pick you up in the heart of one city and bring you right to the next, right to downtown city center locations. So let's take New York City, for example. If you're taking Amtrak in, you'll take the train right to Penn Station. You're just a few blocks from Times Square. Versus trying to fly into New York City, into JFK, LaGuardia, it can be about an hour taxi ride just to get to the city there. So the train, again, will take you right to the downtown locations in any of the cities you're going to. And we have something for everyone. Whether you're traveling with your son, daughter, or bringing a grandchild, traveling with your significant other, we have tons of packages and things for you to choose from. Now, all of our rail vacations that we have, all the ones I'm going to talk about today and everything on our website can all be customized to start right from your hometown. Whether it's Boston, LA, DC, or your local Amtrak station, let us know where you're coming from and we can add that train to get you to the starting city of the vacation package you're looking at. Keep in mind though, you do also have the option to fly to the starting city, train city to city, and then fly home at the end, or kind of do a combination. So really just depends on what works best for you. Now, when I say we can customize any vacation package, what does that mean? Well, I'll give you an example here. We have our Rail to the Grand Canyon package. That package is round trip from Los Angeles, and it does two nights at the Grand Canyon. But maybe you're looking at that package, and you're thinking, I want more time to go hiking, or I want to do a helicopter ride. I need more time at the Grand Canyon. No worries. Let us know. We can add extra nights for you. Maybe you want to stay right at El Tovar, beautiful property that's right on the canyon's edge there we can take care of that and add those overnights. For this package, it doesn't include the hotel in Los Angeles, it's just rail from there, but maybe you don't live in LA, so you wanna spend some time visiting the city, doing some sightseeing, let us know, we can add that for you. 
And that's how you get your perfect customized vacation. The amazing part of traveling on Amtrak is just seeing the country from the seat there as you're just traveling by nice and relaxed, soak in all those beautiful landscapes. So now I want to talk about some of our most popular rail vacations that we have that feature some overnights on Amtrak. Now, I'll take a second to explain this map here because you'll see the maps throughout the presentation and on our website. So this one here, it's Round Trip Chicago. There's no number there, so that means it doesn't include the hotel overnights in that city. Then whenever you see that red arrow with a number in it, that's the number of nights you're on the train. So you are sleeping on the train. So from Chicago to Seattle, it is two overnights there. Now, all of our pricing, it's all based on coach accommodation. But you can certainly upgrade to one of the private sleeping accommodations, whether it's the roomette or the bedroom. And I'll talk more about those a little bit later in the presentation and show you what those look like. Then it's one night in Seattle, so we take care of your hotel accommodations, your sightseeing there. Continue on the train, that Coast Starlight route, overnight down to San Francisco. And you'll spend two nights in San Francisco before continuing your journey back home to Chicago, or we can add the train to your local Amtrak station. So with this package here, again, starts from Chicago, you'll do that Empire Builder route, so it's the northern route, travels through northern Montana, through Glacier National Park, amazing landscapes you'll see there, and finally ending in Seattle. We include the hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour for you, That'll take you all around the city. So you can go check out Pike Place Market, which is pictured right here. You can go see the waterfront, Pioneer Square, which was Seattle's first neighborhood, and so much more. The hop-on, hop-off tours are great because it'll take you all around the city, and it is a narrated, guided tour. So you can learn all about the history of Seattle and about some of the famous buildings and landmarks that you're traveling through. From Seattle, take the Coast Starlight route, south down to San Francisco, where you have two nights there. We include that hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour. Again, best way to see a new city, so you don't have to worry about public transportation or figuring out how to get around. That tour bus will take you to all the major hot spots you're trying to get to. So whether it's Fisherman's Wharf for some great views of the bay, or going to Union Square, doing some shopping, my favorite, checking out Ghirardelli Square and getting one of their amazing ice cream sundaes there. Uh, but that tour will do all that for you. Some other great inclusions that we have is the San Francisco Bay Cruise. So it's a really exciting one because it takes you right out onto the water and it actually circles around Alcatraz. So you get really great views of it. And then it'll take you under the Golden Gate Bridge. So just a different, unique perspective. And then as you're coming back, you'll have the coolest views of downtown San Francisco and the landscapes there. And then we also include a tour of Muir Woods. So it's a half day tour. It'll take you right from downtown San Francisco. You'll cross over the Golden Gate Bridge as you make your way to Muir Woods. Then you have free time to go exploring, take a stroll through those towering redwoods there before making your way back to the city. Then from San Francisco, you'll take the California Zephyr route. It is one of my favorites and the most scenic route because as you leave San Francisco and you start heading east, you're going to travel through the Sierra Nevada. Then you'll start heading through some desert landscapes. And then into Colorado, you'll see the Rocky Mountains. And you are literally winding around the mountains, traveling to places that no cars can go. And eventually that route will bring you back to Chicago. And that there is our Northern Rail experience. Nine days, starting in Chicago, heading out to Seattle, San Francisco, and then back to Chicago. Now, if anyone is looking for a full cross-country rail journey, here is the perfect vacation for you, our Grand Rail experience. It's round trip from Chicago, and you'll notice a lot of our packages are round trip Chicago or starting or ending there. The reason why is Amtrak is the main hub for all the Amtrak long distance trains. 
So if you are living somewhere else, no worries, just let us know. Maybe you live in San Francisco or the Bay Area, so you want to do this package round trip from there. Just let us or your travel agent know. We can rearrange that. Not a problem at all. That's the beauty of Amtrak Vacations. We can customize any of these packages for you. But this one here, Grand Rail Experience, again, you're starting from Chicago. You'll do the overnight on the Empire Builder, actually two overnights there, heading over to Seattle. We have that great hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour included to take you all around the city. You're going to board the Coast Starlight heading south. This time you're going to take it past San Francisco all the way down to Los Angeles. It's such a beautiful train route you get, uh, especially after San Francisco. That's when you start going through California's central coast, some of the rolling hills and the winery regions there. And then you're going to travel right along the Pacific coastline around Santa Barbara where you can literally see the surfers in the water. So you are hugging that coastline. So beautiful train route that you're getting there. In LA, we do include that hop on, hop off sightseeing tour. So that'll take you out to Hollywood, where you'll have some great views of the Hollywood sign. You can take it out to Rodeo Drive and do some shopping. Maybe you'll even see a movie star there. Uh, you can go out to Santa Monica, check out the pier, or Maybe just take a stroll along the beach or just sit back, relax, and soak in that California sunshine. From Los Angeles, you'll board the Sunset Limited Amtrak Southern Route, making your way over to New Orleans. And that route, you'll pass through some desert regions. You'll see some cacti from the windows of the train, making your way through the bayou, finally ending in New Orleans there. We do include a guided city tour for you. So you can check out the French Quarter, historic Jackson Square. You'll go see some of the historic cemeteries, also known as the Cities of the Dead. And it's well known for its unique above ground burial system. So you can learn all about that while you're in New Orleans. From there, you're going to hop back on the train and take Amtrak up to Washington, D.C. to our nation's capital. D.C. is a very walkable city, so it's a great place to just take a stroll, check out all the different monuments, memorials that they have through the National Mall area. A really cool inclusion of this one is the Monuments by Moonlight tour that we have here. It is awesome seeing all the monuments during the day, but even more incredible seeing them at night when they're all lit up. So it is a guided tour, so you're still going to learn about the history of the nation and just kind of the history and the meaning behind some of these memorials, whether it's the Jefferson Memorial, Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Monument, you'll learn all about that. And that there is our Grand Rail experience. So 14-day trip starting in Chicago, heading over to Seattle, down to Los Angeles, over to New Orleans up to Washington, D.C., and then finally heading back to Chicago, wrapping up your full cross-country rail journey. Now, we can't talk about bucket list vacations without talking about some of our beautiful national parks that we have. One of our most popular ones is Glacier National Park, and this package here is our Glacier National Park Express. Now, there is no easier way to get to Glacier than by train. And I say that because it is in a remote location in northern Montana, so there's no major airport servicing it. But the train also, where it stops in East Glacier, you get right off the train, and it's just 208 steps to the front lobby of the Glacier Park Lodge, where we have you staying. So very easy to get to and such a scenic route taking you there. So it starts off with two nights in Chicago, so you can explore the city before boarding that Empire Builder route, taking you right to the Glacier Park Lodge. While you're in Glacier, we have some great sightseeing tours included for you. We have a boat cruise on Two Medicine Lake, so you can learn about the history of Glacier there. When you're doing that boat cruise, you just look up and you are surrounded by the mountains, so absolutely incredible landscape. We also include the Big Sky Circle Tour. It's the most inclusive tour of the park. It's a 
full day journey, takes you along the famous going to the sun road, which cuts right through Glacier National Park. You go high up into the mountains. You'll go through Logan Pass, which is the top of the Continental Divide. Then you'll head out to Lake McDonald, one of the largest lakes in the park there. As you go on that journey and you have that tour, every time you stop for those scenic photo chances, it just gets more and more beautiful. One of my favorite places to visit. From Glacier, you'll hop back on the train and take it over to Seattle. In Seattle, we do include admission to the Space Needle. So you can see it pictured right here. You'll be able to head right up to the top there. Some amazing views of downtown Seattle, but also of Elliott Bay, the waterfront. On a clear day, you can see Mount Rainier off at a distance. And actually, the Space Needle just went through some major renovations. So they actually added a glass floor. So it's a revolving glass floor. So you actually get a full 360 degree view of the city. So definitely a must see, must do if you're visiting Seattle. And we also include admission to the Chihuly Garden and Glass Exhibit. It's actually located right by the base of the Space Needle. And it's a beautiful garden which has those glass blown sculptures all incorporated into it. And that there is our Glacier National Park Express. 10 day trip starting in Chicago, heading to Glacier National Park, and then ending in Seattle. And of course, we can't talk about national parks without talking about the Grand Canyon, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. This package here is our Grand Canyon getaway round trip from Chicago. But remember, we can do this package from any Amtrak station. There's over 500 stations, so just let us know where you're coming from, and we can rearrange this to make it round trip from your hometown or local Amtrak station. With this package here, you'll take the train over to Williams, Arizona. Williams is known as the gateway to the Grand Canyon. It's also a historic town on the old Route 66. When you arrive in Williams, you'll get there in the evening, so you'll spend the night right at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. The next morning, you'll wake up, you'll have a full breakfast included for you, and then you can go outside and watch the Wild West Shootout Show that's put on before boarding Grand Canyon Railway. Then you're going to take that train, travel through the ponderous the pine forest as you make your way up to the South Rim. When you get there to the south rim of the canyon, we do have a guided tour included for you. So that's going to take you out to some of the most scenic overlooks and best viewpoints of the Grand Canyon. Then after that, you have free time to explore. If you want to do some hiking on your own, you can certainly do so. Or if you just want to sit back, relax, and just take in the amazing views, you have that option too. Then you'll spend the night right at the canyon's edge, right at the south rim there. The next morning, I always recommend people get up early and watch the sunrise. It is absolutely amazing. Just the colors that come out of it into the sky, the way it reflects on the Grand Canyon is just spectacular. After that, you have free time to, if you want to do some hiking, some more exploring, or if you're up early and you want to take a nap, you can certainly go back to your hotel and do so. Uh, but later that afternoon, you'll take Grand Canyon Railway back down to Williams. You'll have some free time. You can explore the old historic Route 66 town. We have dinner included for you at the Grand Depot Cafe. They have some live entertainment, some music playing, so great place to hang out at night. You'll spend the night at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. Then the next day, you'll take Amtrak back to Chicago or to your hometown there. And that is our Grand Canyon getaway round trip from Chicago. Six-day journey, so Chicago, train to Williams, up to Grand Canyon, back to Williams. We'll catch the transfer in the train to make your way home to Chicago. Now, one of the questions you may have is, well, where do we stay in these different cities or national parks? We have tons of different hotels for you to choose from. So we have something to fit 
everyone's needs and everyone's budget. We have everything from three, four, and five star options. If you usually stay at Sheridan's, Marriott, Holiday Inn, Fairmont, um, we can do that for you. If you prefer boutique properties, or if you're going to one of the national parks and you want to stay right at one of those lodges inside the parks, we can also do those accommodations. So tons of different options that you have. So I'm sure now you're thinking, all right, so where do I want to go on my trip? And once you think where, it's, well, how do I pack for a train trip? So packing for an Amtrak vacations trip, when traveling on the train, you're allowed to bring two free carry-on bags, as well as check two bags free of charge. So I always tell people when you're traveling on the train, for anything you're going to want in the cities that you're going to, put all that in your checked bags and check that with Amtrak. Don't, this way you don't have to worry about it while you're on board the train. They can take care of that for you. Then you'll get it when you arrive at your destination. And on the train, if you're doing the overnights, just bring a small carry-on backpack for anything you're going to need while you're on board. This way, you know, you have more room in your private accommodations there. It's just less things to worry about on the train. So I've talked a little bit about the different accommodations. I know I mentioned coach, talked about upgrading to the remettes or bedroom. So just want to take a couple of minutes and kind of explain what the differences are in the options that you have. There's coach accommodations. So it's not like coach on the airlines at all. Uh, you have tons of leg room there. So you can see in this picture here that gentleman, he is nice and relaxed, reclined back. The seats actually go back to about a 45 degree angle. Uh, there's also a leg rest that comes up on all the long distance trains. So it is very comfortable sitting there. Uh, it's certainly doable for any overnights on the train. I always recommend upgrading to one of the sleeping accommodations to get the full Amtrak experience. But if you are traveling on a tight budget, anything like that, coach accommodations are very comfortable. The great thing about the train is you're not stuck in your seat or your room the entire time. You can get up, walk around, stretch out your legs. Uh, so again, even if you do the coach accommodations, you can still go visit the lounge car, uh, hang out there. I always tell pre people to bring some games, whether it's a deck of cards or a board game that's maybe easy to travel with, just different things to do on board. It's also very social on the train, which is probably one of my favorite things about rail travel is that I feel like when you're in a road trip or if you're going on a plane, you know, everyone sits down and no one really talks to each other on the plane. Everyone just kind of puts their headphones in, they're listening to their music or they're on their iPads. It's very different on the train. You'll get to meet, you know, some of your fellow travelers, but even with those that you're traveling with, if you're traveling with a significant other, family, friends, you'll really get some quality time with them on board the train. And that's what makes Amtrak so special. Uh, and then you can see the image on the bottom there. As I mentioned, you know, bringing just a small carry-on backpack. You can see right where you can store it uh, over those coach seats there. So for the sleeping accommodations, the most popular one to upgrade to is the Romet accommodation. So it's two seats during the day that face each other. And then at night, it's bunk beds. Then at the end of the train car, there's a private but shared bathroom and shower, and that's exclusively for people with the Romet accommodations. Now, in the Romet, you do have a train car attendant, so he or she will be the one to take care of rearranging the beds at night, putting all that together. You just have to let them know what time you would like that done. Uh, for the most part, they'll do it when you're at dinner, unless you specify otherwise, but it works out perfectly that way. You can go to the dining car, have your meals, because all the meals are included with the sleeping accommodation. And then when you come back from dinner, you'll have the beds uh, all set up for you at night. And then typically in the morning when you go to breakfast, that's when the train car attendant will come by and put it back to the daytime configuration there. Uh, they take care of all of the linens, pillows, everything like that, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, again, I mentioned the bathrooms and showers are right at the end of the train car. They do provide uh, towels for anyone that's looking to shower. 
The other upgrade option is the bedroom. So you can see here it's a little bit larger than the Romette. The biggest difference is it has its own private bathroom and shower right in that room there. So you can see that seat where the lady's sitting, it's kind of more of a couch, so she has lots of space there to spread out. And then here's a picture of the bunk beds at night. Uh, so it's really for two adults. There is the option to put a third or put a child in that as two people can share that bottom bunk. And again, all the meals are included with the bedroom accommodations. Now, if you are traveling in coach accommodations, while the meals are not included, you do still have the option of going to the dining car. The food on the train, it really is spectacular. Uh, every time I do it, I always get the steak. It's my favorite thing. You get quite a meal, especially in the long distance trains traveling out west. Um, you can have you know, your salad to start. You'll have your nice steak dinner. They have some great desserts. I always go for their cheesecake. Um, but again, just a variety of things. So they also have, you know, pastas, chicken for dinner, for lunch. They'll have burgers, salads, sandwiches. Uh, the menus, they do vary a little bit based on which train route you're traveling on. So if you do have any questions, you want to look into that, uh, certainly let us know when you're booking and we can help provide that information for you. Now, today was just kind of a small sampling of some of the destinations that we have. To check everything out, you can go right to our website to amtrackvacations.com. Click right on that destinations tab and you'll see the 50 plus cities and national parks that we go to. On our website, you can also check out our blog. So that's where you can get some more information on traveling, on board Amtrak. We have all of our presentations. Uh, they've all been recorded. They're posted there. So whether you want to see another one about Amtrak specifically, the onboard accommodations, or maybe you're thinking about going to the Grand Canyon, you want to learn more about that, there's also presentations on it. And on our website, you can also check out our trip planning section for a little bit more information on board the train. It'll talk about the baggage guidelines, if you want more information on meals, how dining works, all that is right in that trip planning section. So how do you book one of these vacation packages? There's a couple different ways. You can give us a call at 1-800-AMTRAK2. You can book online on our website, amtrackvacations.com, or you can reach out to your local travel agent. All right, everyone always loves to save some money on their vacation, so we have a few great discounts to share. So we have our everyday discount, so children, anyone ages 2 to 12, they always receive 50% off the rail portion of their vacation package. Seniors. So if you're 65 or older, congrats, you get to save an extra 10% on that rail. And active military and their families, you also get a 10% discount on the rail portion of the trip. I mentioned earlier our summer sale for select destinations and packages. So that does apply to our New England fall foliage packages. If you want to check out Boston and Portland, uh, any of our packages, including New Orleans, Washington, D.C., or if you want to go to the Grand Canyon, we have $100 off per booking on any of those packages. And you can check those out on our website. If you go to our specials page, you can see all of the packages it applies for. And now for the exclusive offer for all of you for taking the time and joining me today, we are offering you $100 off your next booking. And it can be applied to any Amtrak Vacations package or custom rail vacation. So keep an eye on your email. We'll be sending this to you shortly after this presentation. You'll have that. And that gift certificate, it's valid for the next two weeks. So don't wait to book and take advantage of those savings there. Now, if you didn't get a chance to download the handouts at the beginning, um, please do so now. This way you have all the packages and all that information there. And if you do have any questions, I see a handful that were coming in during this presentation. Uh, but if anyone else has any, 
please type those into your questions box. We do have a little bit of time, uh, so I can certainly get to those. But before I do that and answer your questions, I do have one for all of you. What rail vacation or destination are you interested in? And when are you looking to travel? So if you just want to type that, just right into your questions box. I would love asking that, just kind of seeing where everyone's interested in going. I'll give you all a minute to type that in. And again, type in any other questions you may have. So we have lots of people that are looking to travel. We have Laura, who's going to the Grand Canyon next week. Ooh, that's exciting. Hope you have a wonderful trip. We have P.A. Simpson, who's looking to go to D.C. in the fall. We have, let's see, a lot of people interested in the Grand Canyon. Kelly, Ken, um, let's see, Jeanette, all looking to go to the Grand Canyon this year. All right, so I also see a lot of questions popping in. So let's get to some of those for you. We have a question from Laura. Will a small wheeled carry-on fit in a romette? Yes, it certainly will. Um, I've done that. The same carry-on I use when I typically fly, it fits in the overhead compartments there. Uh, it fits in the Romette accommodations there. So you can certainly pack everything you're going to want in the train on that small wheeled carry-on, and it will fit in the Romette accommodations there for you. We have a question from Randall. Temperature on the train and in the bedroom. So there is controls in there to kind of um, control the airflow that's coming in for the Romette and the bedroom accommodations. We have a question from Patricia. Do you provide blankets? Yes, Amtrak does have blankets they provide. When the train car attendant puts those beds down, he'll put the linens, he also provides the blankets. We have a question from Laura. What about seating in the view liner? Is that first come, first serve? So yes, it is. For the lounge car, the observation car, anything like that, it's all first come, first serve serve seating up there. It is open to everyone on the train. I can say I've never had an issue trying to find a seat up there. Just because on the train, there's a constant flow of people, you know, especially those in sleepers. There's different meal times that people are going. So people are constantly flowing to the dining car, maybe going back to their room for a little bit, hanging out in the lounge for a bit. Uh, so there's never really an issue. But technically, yes, it is first come, first serve. Question from Dorothy, on the trip from Chicago to Glacier, when the train stops, do you have time to hop off and take photos at the station? It depends on which station they're going to. Most of the stops it's making are pretty quick. Uh, it's just a minute or two to let passengers off and passengers back on. It does make a couple longer stops where you actually can get off the train, stretch your legs a little bit more there. The train conductor will announce that at the stations, you know, if they're gonna be there for 15, 20 minutes, they'll come on and they'll let you know. I wouldn't stray too far from the train, um, but you can certainly get off, take some quick photos and then head back. You know, they'll do the all aboard uh, when it's time to get back on before it's leaving. Question from Philip, is Wi-Fi included? What is the Wi-Fi cost? So only select trains actually have Wi-Fi available. If it is available on the train, it is included. There's no cost for it. So some of the more you know, commuter ones, so in the Northeast Corridor, so that would be anything from you know, Boston, New York, Philly, DC, that all has really good Wi-Fi there. But when you get to some of the trains heading out west, the full cross country ones, so if you're going Chicago through like Colorado, the Rocky Mountains to San Francisco, you're going through some really remote locations, so that's why Wi-Fi isn't available on those trains, just because there really isn't the, sig the signal for it. We have a question from PA. As a single traveler, if I upgrade to a roomette, would I have a roommate? No, you would not. Um, so Amtrak does not pair you with other people. So if you do upgrade, you do the roomette, you will have that room to yourself. We have a question from, let's see, Aaron and Maja. My wife and I are in our 60s. We're planning to attend a family event in Philadelphia on September 21st. 
We're starting from Vancouver. How long is the trip and what is the cost, remit or bedroom? So great question. To give you an actual cost, I would recommend giving us a call. We do have our agents here, they're standing by, so they can give you that actual figure for how much it would be for the remit and bedroom. It just varies based on the availability. Um, so I don't wanna give you a price and be wrong there because it does fluctuate quite a bit. Uh, as far as the timing of it, so it would be a three overnight on the train to get there. So from B, uh, from Vancouver, you can take the Amtrak Cascades train down to Seattle, then travel Seattle over to Chicago, and then Chicago, you can head to uh, New York, D.C., and then kind of connect up to Philadelphia. So you do have a couple different options. Um, how you want to go through in that direction. But give us a call and we can help you out with that. Let's see, lots of great questions that are coming in from all of you. We have one from Caitlin. Can I combine the two discounts that you talked about? So yes, you certainly can. You can actually combine both, all, technically all three of them. Um, so if you are a senior, you always get the 10% off that rail there. Um, if you're traveling on one of those select summer sale packages, you can get the $100 off the booking. And then we'll also be sending you that $100 gift certificate that you can use on any of the rail vacation packages. So yes, you can certainly combine all of those discounts there. We have a question from Karen. Do we need to carry drinks? Uh, so no, you don't. There's definitely drinks on board. Uh, if you're doing one of the sleeping accommodations, they do have water bottles for you. Uh, there's also coffee available in the morning that your train car attendant will be making. Uh, in the dining car, there are drinks, soft drinks, alcoholic drinks available um, that would be available for purchase. Same thing in the lounge car. So, of course, you can bring, you know, water, drinks, snacks, anything like that on board the train. But if you don't, all that is there for purchase. We have, let's see, lots of great questions. We have one from Ashley. Um, if I'm traveling with my family, can we get rooms across from each other? So that's a great question. Yes, you can. So give us a call when you're booking. I would definitely recommend booking early. This way we can request those two rooms to be right across from each other. So if you are doing the remet accommodation, those will be right across from each other. The bedroom accommodations, because they're larger, um, they're more in a line. So there's not two, they're next to each other versus across from each other. Um, but it does have the option to ensuite them. So there's a dividing wall that actually you can open up. So you can have a nice giant room for four people, essentially. We have a question from Tice. Do the rail discounts apply to sleeping accommodations? So those rail discounts, it applies to the a rail portion of it there. Um, so we can apply, you know, any of the other discounts that I talked about. Yes, if you want to upgrade to one of the sleeping accommodations, it does apply to all of that. And it looks like we have time for one more question. Uh, so we have, let's see, last question we can kind of sneak in here. We have one from John. We've never rode the train. Can we get the train from here, let's see, South Carolina to San Diego with hop on, hop off? So yes, you certainly can. So you can do a cross country journey. You'll see some on our website already that are full US coast to coast. Uh, if you have other destination cities you wanna stop off at along the way, just let us know. We can add extra stops in for you. Uh, take care of your hotel accommodations, any sightseeing you want to do in those different cities along the way. So that's so all we have time for for questions today. But again, I do want to say thank you so much, everyone, for taking the time joining me today. I hope you all enjoyed this presentation, learned a lot about Amtrak vacations and the rail experiences that you'll have on board the train. 
And if I didn't get to your question, I do apologize. There are a lot that came in. There's a lot of you logged in today listening to this. Um, but please give us a call, send us an email, and we will get back to you and answer any of those questions there. So thank you so much. Hope you all have a wonderful night.